Good morning, everyone. Actually, good afternoon. We are here with our founders, uh, Chris and Kyle, and they are going to take a minute to just go ahead and introduce themselves. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Kyle Fitzgerald, co-founder of Life Equals. Chris Thoey, COO, co-founder, Life Equals. Thanks for tuning in today and checking out our story. We're excited to get in front of you all and share kind of the background of where we started at and where we're going. Awesome, so we had um, some of our loyal customers uh, submit some questions, and one of them that everyone is curious about is tell us what inspired you and how you both got started. Yeah, that's a great question. So I'm assuming this isn't a feature length film with two hours, so we're gonna try to keep this a little bit shorter than the full, full story. Um, you know, I think as we all grow up, we all think we know what we're gonna do, and it sits in the nice little four-year degree in college, or it fits this tight little plan, and sometimes that doesn't happen, right? Like, we felt compelled to go do something bigger than just work for a company and sit at a job and do the deal. We needed something that really answered our passion and our desire to get out in the world and actually build something. And I was lucky enough to find Chris um, and to kind of share that same vision for him. So we started the Life Equals brand in 2011 with our first product, Focused Energy. You may have seen it. It's an encapsulated product that gives you a natural source of energy from herbs and amino acids. I can't drink coffee because I'm super sensitive to caffeine. Um, so that was a product that I could use and a lot of Americans could use that doesn't overwhelm them. So that's kind of where we started with that vitamin product. Yep. And then... Yeah, and yeah, and so we formulated that essentially with a lot of doctors and dietitians around the Kansas City area. Uh, Kyle came to me with a pretty much finished product and said, hey man, um, I'm a graphic designer by background and by trade, so he was like, hey, can you wrap a sweet brand around this product and let's see if we can sell this into, into stores, which we had zero experience doing. Zero. And we basically cut our teeth for years selling this product and a line of vitamins and supplements around Kansas City and eventually online. That's right, I think we actually started selling it in the stores without business cards or anything, and I can tell you now, looking back on it, I was ill-prepared. But uh, the brand looked great because that's what Chris's strong background was, and from that one product, we grew into a whole line of 10 different uh, dietary supplements, mostly capsules and, and bottles. And the cool thing was, is as we had that experience and being in stores like Whole Foods and talking to our doctors and dietitians and health coaches, they all seem to say the same thing, and it wasn't, you know, we need one more multivitamin. They said, our, honestly, our biggest problem is we need to get our patients and our clients an easier way to eat more fruits and vegetables, which we thought to be very basic, and how could this be a problem? But lo and behold, it is. You're supposed to get uh, five servings of fruits and vegetables every single day, and turns out, according to the CDC, people are getting half, literally half of what they needed. So we said, what if we could do that? What if we could provide real food in a kind of unadulterated, really pure, organic way to people, and that's where we came up with, da -da, balance. That's right, balance the superfood shot. So it's been, I would say, like night and day. So as an entrepreneur, oftentimes you feel like you're wandering around in the dark, and you don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, and so the day that we figured out balance and started making these beautiful little shots was like flipping on the lights in a dark room, and all of a sudden we knew exactly where we were going, the response was totally different and overwhelming from like the medical community who knew they needed this product and our customers. So it's been really cool to have that happen. Right. And for us personally, we talked about this a lot when we launched a product, which has been live now for two years. Yep. It really hit home because even though we're in this supplement world, we're selling these vitamin products online and around Kansas City and, and wholesale locations, we still struggled on a daily basis in both of our family lives to get you know, the yeah. recommended daily service of fruits and veggies. And we run a health company. Exactly. So <laughs> here's the irony, and that's essentially why we come up with balance, is so that we, as founders and, and just normal, busy professionals, can get enough fruits and veggies on the go. It's super simple, and it basically eliminates any barrier possible to get your daily allotment. So Yeah, and the, and the funny thing is, is like, as you're building something, it's kind of like your baby, right? Like you think somebody might actually think this is ugly, and what am I going to do about that? So I'm going to stay in my fort, in my castle, and I'm going to hide out until this idea is perfect. And that's ridiculous. We did it, and then we did it again with balance. But as you started to get out in the world, and we got into Whole Foods Market, which was a huge validator. Um, but more importantly, as we like, as my kids became old enough to consume it, Oscar was two in the product launch. He's four and a half now. And to see him really love it and, and love it, kids don't love what their parents love, so that's not it, right? 
he actually loves it. So if I want to drink one, I have to like hide it from him or he's going to slug the whole thing and he's only four. So it was really cool to have real validation from real human beings that loved it and to take our idea out in the world and have it, have it work. And it's not really our idea anymore, right? Like this is a super conceivable thing that people should be able to get real food in something without all the extra crap that people add to it. So to go out there and do this has been really cool. And somehow we've remained like best friends through all this. I think it's because our wives get along. That makes it a lot easier. Uh, but yeah, it's been really fun. I don't think people have as much fun at their jobs. So I'm glad that we, we do this and we have a lot of fun. And we have an amazing team to help us out with it. That's so. right. That's right. Awesome. So anyone that is watching, we do have uh, several people watching. So say hi. If you have any questions for the guys, please comment <laughs> and post them. Um, we're going to go on to one of our other questions. And um, everyone really wants to know about this. How do you get half a day's servings of fruit and veggies in that tiny bottle? Oh, man, the magic question. Well, <laughs> turns out it's really not as complex as you would think. So a half your days, so when we talk about half your days, like on the bottle, right? That means two and a half cups of fruits and vegetables. So you get five cups. So we're figuring out how to do two and a half cups. And the reason we only do half a day, which is kind of a bonus question here, because that's not exactly what you asked, but we said if people are already getting half their day's fruits and veggies, we don't need to provide you all of them, right? We don't need to believe us, some third party person, you are eating, you're eating real food and maybe you're already eating the daily minimum, but that's a minimum, right? So we said half a day, two and a half cups. And really all we literally do is take that 100% organic produce and remove 80% of the water and it goes into the bottle, right? It's really just that simple. So there's no preservatives, there's no added sugar, nothing. Literally, two and a half cups of fruits and vegetables, take out some of the water, and that's it. And the cool thing is, is our vitamin products had to be made in different facilities all across the country. This product is made uh, here in Kansas City with us by a husband and wife team who are like the best people in the world. So it's cool to not only have it, but have it be made here locally and be able to like wrap our arms around that. Not so. only that, but it really does start with the superfoods, which is why it's called the superfood shot. You can't just use any normal fruits and vegetable in here. Basically everything you see at the supermarket is not the super nutrient dense stuff that yep. we put in here. So you have to start with a really high nutrient dense vegetable and fruit product. And then basically we get what we get out of it. So yep. taking the water out, like Kyle said, but it has to start with the most nutrient dense fruits and veggies, i.e. superfoods. Yeah, because the average American is not eating super nutrient dense food. That's, that's the ironic part of it, right? If you could guess what the number one and number two fruits and veggies are in the country consumed. I know this one. All right, what is it? Potatoes and tomatoes. Which right. is ketchups and french fries. Come on, people. So we said, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do real organic superfoods and actually get something in there that's beyond what you can find. Cause it's a pain in the butt to go around to a bunch of different stores and find all these nutrient dense things and then pay that high cost. There is five dollars worth of organic produce in every bottle, but it makes it super easy. So, yeah. Uh, and Garrett, thank you. He knew he knew the answer to that. So, oh, and, he, and he also <laughs> he also said um, that he wants you guys to drink your balance the superfood shot. I've already actually. I think they might be gone because I've already drank mine, but I will definitely have another one, or I'll have our new flavor that's coming out. Secret surprise. I don't know if we can even talk about that yet. Not today. Okay, not today. <laughs> we have a question uh, coming in from Christy. What do you love about running Life Equals? Uh, okay, yeah, go ahead. I don't want to steal your thunder here in case we have the same exact answer. I think it's cool to be able to work with a bunch of awesome people every single day who are super passionate about what we do, which is bringing a super simple product which delivers half your day's fruits and veggies to the masses. I think it's an incredibly Humbling to work with a bunch of intense, super awesome people who just love what we do. Yep. That's super, super rewarding. Super. Stop it. Super. <laughs> no, I think <laughs> that is that is really, uh, that was my answer as well. We both worked in the same office building, which is weird, that we would find each other there. And there were, companies. there were different companies, but no young people in the entire building, right? And both of our companies were filled with disgruntled people, right? People who were doing what they went to school for, but weren't necessarily loving it. And the way that people were treated in those companies and they weren't taken seriously, they didn't have the opportunities to grow. And that was my dream was like, what if we could get together, have fun every single day, but then have people come here and find out what they want to do in life and go and do it and feel supported and get treated like real human beings. So that was a big part of me. But at the end of the day, to know that we've done something that matters 
and that actually gives something new to the world is wildly important, right? Like we're not producing another iPhone case or a jelly that goes on your laptop, right? Like there are plenty of that stuff out there. We wanted to make something that really mattered, made the world a better place. I'm super big into organic farming. We live here in the urban part of Kansas City. So we have our organic garden. It's been organic for eight years, so it really is organic. Uh, and that's a big deal to me, and to know that we can support that is is awesome. Because you never know how things are gonna turn out. No, you're totally right. But to know that you've done something that matters every single day is like wildly valuable. Yeah, and they, to even go back to your garden part, right? So we're from Kansas, obviously. Um, We've got family farmsteads, homesteads that are less than two hours away from here. Yep. And so my family goes back to my great great grandfather's generation, in which we are still farming that land here in Kansas today. Um, it's not super organic, nutrient dense products like that are here yet, but it might be someday. Yep. And you have yours as well. So it's yeah. just super cool to be able to bring this agricultural mentality that we have been born into. My family, I'll speak for myself. Yeah. And to be able to wrap that in, it's just fantastic. Yeah, I mean, it's a real cult cultural heritage. I have, we have the same story. We have a homestead. We've been farming the same piece of ground for well over 100 years. And that's magic that I would have never thought that we would be farmers. I wouldn't describe us as farmers. But I would say that supporting organic agriculture and investing in that is wildly important. Every bottle of this takes conventional agricultural products off the market. That is what you're doing by drinking it. And that's what we're doing by making it. And that's really cool. Yeah. All right. And Jessica um, says, hey, guys, you're awesome. <laughs> Thanks, <What's>, Jessica. <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. What's I, your eating there. approach outside of drinking balance? My eating approach? Yes. Man, I'll be really honest. I am someone who would actually need this product because a lot of days I'm not getting just real fruits and vegetables. I eat all spectrums of food. I'm not dietarily limited. Uh, but we focus on like a real food diet. There's a hundred days of real food, which is an amazing uh, website that's out there. And there's a, a, a deep seated understanding that not eating something with preservatives, not eating something that's filled with all this crazy stuff that we come up with in factories and then put into food to make it crunchier, or crispier, or last longer in a plastic bag on a shelf. Uh, so we focus on real food, no preservatives, no white flour, um, no added sugar, real food, period. Uh, my wife and I right now are trying to cut out meat of our diet. Maybe not exclusively, but we basically had a New Year's resolution to say, hey, we want to cut it out every single Monday. And cooking is really big in our house, mm -hmm. and I absolutely love it. And so when we cook a big meal on a Monday, you know, we're okay with leftovers throughout the majority of the week. So uh, we are definitely eliminating a ton of meat from our diet, and it's been really exciting to see the variety of flavors and, and varieties of, of mm -hmm. recipes that we're getting to experience that I have not necessarily would have ever thought would be possible um, with the vegetarian option. So beyond that, my I love anybody that talks to me about what they need to be doing besides balance is more water. I mean, people just don't yeah, drink enough oh, water. Absolutely. They might slam one before they go to bed, but the rest of the day is pretty dehydrated. Pretty dry. And <laughs> pretty arid. Pretty arid. And so just working in more water into your diet is absolutely yeah. critical. Yeah, most people absolutely. underestimate that they go through most of their life being dehydrated and until you reach that threshold of, of, of enough water, you don't know it, uh, what it's like. So. Yeah, and that happens to me every time I go on vacation. I'm eating more rich foods and drinking more beverages that are not water mm -hmm. and I get dehydrated and I feel like crap and every time I'm like this magic experience, I'm like, oh yeah, well, I'm dehydrated. But it takes you days to even figure that out, yeah. especially when you're on vacation because you're out of your mode. But yeah. yeah, yeah, diet is, can be super simple. There is no magic solution, right? You can believe whatever you believe in, but if you're eating clean, less meat, meat is the most expensive, both in what you pay for it and what it does to the planet. So that's commendable. Totally. Yeah. Awesome. And we have a question from Erica. Do you think that balance the superfood shot tastes more like fruits or veggies? And then she said sweet versus earthy. So kind of maybe describe what you think it tastes like to those um, maybe that are watching that haven't had it before. Yeah, I would say it's, I would say it's temperature dependent. For me, I drink mine uh, room temp a lot of times. So it's much more um, earthy or vinicultural. You get more of the, like the, the grape or the berry flavor from it. Uh, if it's cooler, you get more of that tart blueberry pineapple kind of flavor from it. So I think temperature has a big deal. For me anyways, it's a big difference. Yeah, I agree 100%. So I think generally most people describe it as like bold tart with some sweetness. Uh, the tartness is nice because it helps cut the vegetable flavor. Uh, but if you like that vegetable flavor, you could even have it warm like in a sauce 
Um, that's a really delicious way to have it. Whoa, it just blew your mind. The packaging is a little bit deceiving in that it, you might think it would taste like a nasty kind of grassy flavor or yeah. something, like wheatgrass shot, but it's not. The color is yeah. actually a beautiful red color, and, it's, and it doesn't look like what you might think it would. That's right. So it's a little deceiving. Good point. Good point. All right. Well, do you guys have anything else you want to share before we wrap up today? I'm excited that this is the first one that we've done. So That's right. We hope to be bringing this to you weekly, if not fortnightly. <laughs> yes, we, we will be doing this um, every Friday going forward, Founder Friday. So if you have questions, please uh, let us know or something special you want the guys to talk about. Uh, they'll be happy to. Yeah, Dr. G, save up your hard questions and you can pummel us next Friday. So Thank you. Friends. Yeah, and I'm, I'm honored that someone would take the time to listen to what we have to say. Um, and I really appreciate you guys. No company uh, matters without the people who are listening, watching, and buying. So thank you very much. Thanks, guys. See you next week.